checking the old time piece there on the mantle. It's been about one hour since I put these beans in there. And I'm just going to give them a stir around. You know what I mean? To the salt that we put in there is probably dissolved by now. So I'm just going to give them a stir around. You know that right there is enough. That's plenty. Stir around on the beans. Now we're going to cook them tomorrow. Let them sit overnight. About six, eight, or ten hours. Uh, then then, then uh, if you're keeping account... The, out of that two pounds of beans, about four cups, the uh, rock right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, rocks equals seven. Okay, the uh, odd uh, oddballs, word that you don't have a category, is uh, we're going to go with uh, three on the oddballs. The uh, half beans, we're going to, uh, we got five of them right there. Five of them half beans, pencil in there. Two half beans, half that way. Uh, put a two right down there. The oddball, well, which, was a, which was a half bean broken long ways. So uh, let's just let's pencil in one right there. The beans that was discolored and I kind of, you know, I discarded them for some reason or another where I, it was kind of iffy. Well, actually, most of them was not iffy. They was either bad or good. So let's, uh, that's 5, 10, 15, 22. We got 22 bad beans plus these other ones just add them up just add them up if you want to well let's get her done that's 22 uh it's 27 be 29 be 32 be 37 be 39 uh pencil that in <laughs> uh, back road math from here on East Coast Arkansas, Shop Dog Sam. Leave a comment. Okay. Is all the comments in? Yes, you just left a comment, didn't you? The 39 is the number in question. You instantly did the math along with me, and you went on ahead and, and let me write down that 39, knowing all the time it was not correctly. Uh, like magic, the correct number is 40. 40 is the right number. Pencil it in there if you've not already left a comment. 40 is the correct number. You know, I'm not saying buy a lottery ticket or nothing like that. I'm just saying... Uh, you know, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Uh, number 40. Number 40. B40. If you're playing bingo, put something on B40. Uh, it's a correct answer. Uh, if you had done already left a comment, you will be penciled in and moved to the head of class. Also, in the floater department, you know, we had the floater count. And this, this is the only bean up to now that has floated to the top. You, you'll have one occasionally. The, uh, when you stir them like this right here, and, 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 and when you first put them in there immediately, if you, if you see, if one comes to the top floats, then, uh, I, you know, I call that a floater, and, and I remove it. And what happened is, uh, oh, there, right there, let me get that one out. See, right there is a bad bean. This one right here, oh, we're going to have to do that math again now. Let's put that one over here, and uh, we have to add one to this right here. Okay, let's do a little thing. This will be what Einstein would do. See, that? put that little thing up there, meaning, that, meaning that's 23 now, that count is. And the floater, this is the floater, and what happened is that's a... That's one of them pinto bean skins that floated to the top. I couldn't find the other part. It'll be a white one in there. Okay, we we got floaters. It's it's uh let's put it right here. We only got the floater. Uh right here it is. 
the little floater bean. Okay, uh, let's pencil in one right there. Uh, actually, we we added uh, one, two. Okay, to do do to do the quick to do the do this quickly and not have to go back and and count everything else. Let's just add two over here, and um, and you can do that also. Put your add thing right here and a number two and an equal. Oh, this is really good right here. Okay, that answer would be forty two. Always do your math right, check it twice, and turn it in, and you will be awarded a grade. I'm going to go with A+. Plus. You know what I mean? Being I'm grading myself, I'm just going to go ahead and take the A+, plus, uh, with a smiley face. Time to get serious about these pinto beans. If you remember, they've been soaking all night long in that there salt water. And as you can see, they have increased in size. Uh, they are three times as big now as they was when I put them in there. This was two pounds. Let's get on with it. This was two pounds of dry pinto beans about bedtime last night, sundown. Salt water soaked all night long. And let's get them started. We're going to cook them in this pan right here. Now, don't be getting on to me because this right here is that Teflon. It's a pretty darn good pan. Just let me say that. Okay, we're rinsing right over here in the sink there with a big thing like that. And we're going to we're going to rinse them beans there. Get that there salt water out of there get them all rinsed maybe even two or three times and uh, don't be shy on rinsing your beans you know it's right there in the book cooking 101 oh it don't take a lot just get her done run them beans through that there water oh we put a plenty in there and don't be losing the beans down the drain. Just do not lose your brick beans down the drain. But I would like to drain those. Hey, I got it. I know I had one over there somewhere. It's one of them there. It's a seal. We're going to put them beans right in there because I didn't want none of that water to come over in, in the pot. Put them beans right in there like as you're going to be doing this right here in your kitchen. Don't don't be a thinking you can get by without not doing this. Well, it'll save you. Actually, this don't save any time. Oh, yes. Them looks really, really good. Oh, them's going to be good. The, uh... We're going to put that, that's a ham hock right there. That's one, that's one. We're only cooking for two today, but you uh, always, always someone else shows up. So I'm just going to go ahead on the get-go and throw that third. I'm going to throw that third ham hock over in there. And I'm not going to put no salt in this. All we're going to put in yonder is faucet water. Whatever kind of water you got there in your sink. Faucet. That's all we're going to put in yonder. No salt. Now this is one of them dishes where after you have cooked these beans for a while, several batches down the road, you will you will add something to them but now take note write this down there the only thing we have in the pot is soaked pinto beans three ham hocks and uh, about eight cups of water that's all we got in there now you can take this recipe right here and you can go as far as you as you wish with it you can put uh, yeah, the meats in it, you can put um, salt pork, sausage patties is pretty good, them Polish sausages, you know, or you can do wonders with a pinto bean, but this is the basic 
pinto bean recipe uh, uh, with 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 the uh, we're going to put these on the stove over there on a we're going to bring them to a slow simmer and I'm going to estimate about one and a half to two hours. Uh, we may even simmer these uh, up to three hours. Uh, you, uh, we, I, I'll, I'll tell you about it when we get them on the stove.